Equines, welcome to this week's video. This week is something a little bit different. I'm going to try and show you all some grooming products that I've bought um, and test them out for the first time. As some of you may know, I'm not the best at grooming, plaiting up, bathing, um, and just kind of general horse maintenance. So I really wanted to take the time to try and work on that, especially through winter, um, now that we won't be as busy with competing. So I thought, what better way to get myself motivated into practicing and getting better at grooming and whatnot than by buying myself a load of grooming products. So I took myself off onto the internet, I went on a spending spree and I managed to pick up a load of different grooming potions, lotions, serums, oils and hopefully I'm gonna give them all a go and share my thoughts and first impressions on all of the products. So I thought what better way to spend a Sunday than having a look at some of the products that I've bought through the week um, and just giving Cody a little bit of a pamper. We're due to go to dressage on Wednesday so I am going to be using the majority of the products on Tuesday, obviously the day before. Um, to get Cody ready for the Wednesday. But I am going to show you tonight all of the products that I've bought and let you have a look at what I've been spending my money on. I actually don't know how well you can see me sat here. I'm literally sat in Cody's bed and Cody's just eating over there. Um, but the light is up here, so I'm hoping you can see me. So as I've mentioned in previous videos, I'm not a huge lover of bathing, but I am well aware that Cody is gonna need to be clipped soon. And in order to do that, she will need a good bath beforehand. I have actually never ever bathed Cody fully and I am not ashamed to admit that. So I do not have a really good shampoo. So the shampoo that I chose is the Car and Day and Martin Gallop Colour Shampoo which is meant to be specifically for chestnut and palomino horses. Her Majesty the Queen uses Car and Day and Martin products so I thought if it's good enough for the Queen then it is definitely good enough for Cody. I'm not planning on having Cody clipped before we go to dressage on Wednesday and I probably will not bath her before then anyway because we don't actually have access to a hot shower at, we, at our yard. Uh, so I don't actually know if I will be able to show you this one in use. Uh, if I do bath her and we have access to warm water then obviously I will show you guys. But if not I just thought I'd show you anyway what I picked up. So next on my list was something that I could use to quickly get the stains off of the white bits on Cody. Just wanted something that I could easily spray on and get the dirt off quickly. So the one that I chose is this one, the Show Sheen Stain Remover and Whitener. Uh, I think that you just kind of spray it on and then brush it off. So the next product I actually saw on Instagram and I pretty much ordered it straight away which kind of kickstarted my grooming product spending spray and that product is the nfa make your mark quarter marking spray love doing quarter marks on cody and i just wanted something that would make them really stand out and really pop fingers crossed this will make our quarter marks really crisp and clean i really wanted a spray or some kind of product that would make cody sparkle when we went to hoys the horses literally sparkled they obviously had something on them that made them sparkle in the light so i picked up what i thought was a sparkle spray but it says that it's actually for mane and tails so i don't know if you can actually use this on the body of the horse or not or if it is just for mane and tails but it is the supreme products professional collection sparkle spray so i picked something else up from supreme products and it was this high shine serum and um, this says that it's just for kind of finishing touches of the horse once the horse is almost ready to go in the ring and um, you just wipe this on with a dry cloth and it is meant to make them shiny apparently fingers crossed this will make cody glossy and shiny and look healthy when she actually looks like a teddy bear at the moment because she's not being clipped now you will all know that i am horrendous at plaiting up and it is definitely not my area of expertise so i thought i definitely need some kind of product that might help me you'll have also seen in my hoys vlog that i picked up a main rake which i will be using as well on koji it was the smart grooming main rake um, i will be using that to thin out her mane because it's really thick i'm also going to pull her mane slightly so that it is shorter and easier to work with so i picked up the naf plait it up mousse i think it's a mousse presuming that this will make the hair easier to plait i'm also presuming that it will make them a lot neater and hopefully lay the stray hairs flat 
I also picked up a trusty bottle of baby oil, obviously for hot oil and Cody. I was tempted to buy some kind of equine or horse specific oil product, but then I thought baby oil works just as good and it always seems to work. I mentioned that I will be using my new smart grooming main rake on Cody's mane to thin it out. So I thought I best kind of give her a tidy up all round, trim her tail, um, trim the little sticky out hairs in her ears, also her heels. and then. And I also saw on the website this little gadget here um, to use kind of behind the elbows and for all the other stray hairs. It's the Lemieux Close Shave Disposable Equine Razor. Um, I literally think this was about 50p so I thought I might as well pick one up and hopefully it will make Cody a little bit tidier and neater. The next product isn't really a groom product, it is more kind of just a general well-being product. It is the Leavette Thermo Massage Gel, I think it's a gel. The idea with this is that you apply this to the back muscles or the horse's back before you're going to exercise um, and it just kind of works as a heat gel or a massage gel. Whether it works or not we shall see but I am very excited to give it a go and I will let you all know whether I think it works or whether it makes a difference. The last item that I picked up is the Super Shine Clear Hoof Oil and I picked this up because the hoof kind of oil that we use at the moment isn't actually a hoof oil, it's just a hoof solution that we use to keep Cody's feet healthy and I saw this on, I think it was Baxter's Equine grooming services you'll know which page on me on instagram and she said that this was the best hoof oil that she had come across so hopefully this will make cody's little twinkle toes twinkle even more yeah that is it for all of the products that i bought i am now actually going to start by giving cody a groom and then we're going to do a little bit of a tidy up so i'm going to tackle cody's mane I'm gonna thin it out, hopefully pull it. Again, not good at any of this stuff. So we are gonna give it a go, we're gonna trial and error, and hopefully the products that I've bought and the main rate that I've bought will save me. Fingers crossed, wish me luck. So I know the lighting is terrible, but I'm hoping that you can see Cody's mane. So this is Cody's mane before I've done anything to it. And it goes really thick in the middle and it's just a little bit longer than I usually like it. So I'm hoping to just thin it out with my trusty smart grooming main rake that I picked up from Hoy's and then I'm gonna pull it but I'm gonna pull it the way where you use a comb and scissors because I don't like pull it out from the room. done too bad a job at it. I think this looks all right. She has got a natural kink in her mane there so it's just got a little bit angle but I promise it is straight in real life. and mum has kindly done her tail as well because I'm not good at that but I'm going to use this sparkle spray for manes and tails and it does say actually you can use it on the body so once she's all clean all over then I'll use it on her body too Has that worked? Right okay you're well sparkled we shall see if we can see anything. Let's back this bit. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> Clever, you're so cute. Next, I'm using the show sheen on her white bits. So it says that you just spray it on, wait one to five minutes, and then just 
wipe off. Let's try it. Are you going to say still? She says no. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> a, a, a winter's a muddy field. Okay, next I'm going to go in with the hoof polish. Oh, it smells strong. It smells like nail varnish remover. Oh, I hate this bit. So this bit, I just tried that serum and I've just put it on. I don't know if I put too much on or what, but it's just kind of made a big wet patch. So I'm like, for God's sake, that was that Supreme Horse product serum. I think it doesn't help that she's obviously very fluffy because she's not been clipped yet, but not ideal, is it, Cody? Hoping it will dry off. Last thing I'm going to do is put sparkle spray all over her. Can't really tell in her mane and in her tail, so I'm hoping that this will make you sparkle, Cody. We see you, Cody. Hi, beautiful. You've got snot. <laughs> you snot her. We're here. Nice girl. Hello, pretty girl. You're beautiful. Yeah. She says yes. Cody looks so cute. <laughs> I think she's calm. Let's have a look at her. You pretty girl. Are you pretty? You got your big girl bridle on. Oh, you're so cute. I don't think her plaits look too bad. Good girl. Okay, let's do this. But we've just finished. There's Cody. I don't know if you can see her. I'm gonna go and see if I can get my test sheet. If they'll give it to me. It depends if the class is finished or not. Um, and then we will have a debrief. Mum's just broke the news to me that she didn't manage to record half of my test, so that's <laughs> unfortunate. But she did get some in the warm up, so fingers crossed you'll be able to see a little bit. Hi guys, so it's actually a few days later now. Um, when I last saw you, I was just going to get my test sheet from Myasco, Um and we actually did really well, didn't we, Cody? <laughs> Cody's here. Hello. We didn't get as much time as I'd have liked to have done to warm up, so she wasn't as good as she could have been, but she was a lot better than last time, so that was good. And we got, I think we got 67.41% and came third in our section. So I hope you've enjoyed watching me get Cody ready for competition using our new products um, and hearing my first impressions and initial thoughts on each product. If you have any questions about the products I've used then please leave me a comment and I will link every product that I have used in the bio as well. Hopefully you've enjoyed this week's video at Quine. it was something a little bit different and if you did enjoy it then please make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more weekly videos. We post every Sunday at 6pm. Also feel free to follow us over on our Instagram page, our name is Adele Equine and I'll pop the link to that directly in the bio down below. Thanks for watching this week's video Equines, I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you in next week's video. Bye!